Hey, sorry we're late. Did you guys see the rainbow? Yeah, I didn't get it. What's going on? Yeah, it could be big, big and messy. Car belongs to Sally Larkin. You wouldn't know this, but she was in a couple of movies five or 10 years ago. Yeah, I was just reading about her. She's going through a bad divorce. Yeah. Bad doesn't get any worse. Well, who's the husband? Aaron Larkin. The guy's a gazillionaire. He owns half the city, including Fisherman's Wharf. What was she doing here? She was selling her jewelry. She was trying to. She was in this store over here. She goes in. She tells the owners that she thinks she's being followed by her husband. She comes back to her car around 8.30 p.m. They say they hear a scream. 8.30 p.m.? I know. Local boys booted it. They didn't file the report until this morning. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Natalie? Wow. You look fantastic. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Harold, <laughs> I think. Do you get out of bed looking Harold, like that? Harold, what are you doing here? I'm just jogging by, enjoying the day. Oh, I love the city after it rains. It smells like perfume, does it? <gasps> Have you seen the double rainbow? Yeah, yeah, I know. You're not even. Really? I didn't notice. <laughs> right, me neither. Look, I, I, I don't want to interrupt your work. I know you're busy. I, is it another murder? You know what, Harold? Maybe. They're lucky to have you. Hey, listen to this man. He is a genius. He doesn't mean that. You don't mean Sure that. I do. I do. I, I don't play that competitive game anymore. That was an emotional dead end. I have a new therapist. I'm in a whole different place. You, you have a new guy? He's great. Yeah, my new guy's great, too. His first name is Nevin. It's a palindrome. Oh, I guess it is. Oh, it is. It is. I know that stuff is important to you. I guess I'm just a little more result-oriented these days. His name is Kleiman, Lawrence Kleiman. Give him a call. Hypnotherapist? Is he a hypnotist? Mm-hmm. Worked for me. Yeah, I, uh, I guess it did. Anyway, good luck. See you around campus. Oh, I just cannot get over that rainbow. It just makes you feel glad to be alive, doesn't it? Oh, I love this song. 16 girls standing in a row. One says hi, the other says hello. I need you to get comfortable, OK? Yeah. I need you to unclench. I need you to open every door. Open every door. Yeah. OK. What are you thinking about? Harold Crenshaw. OK, OK. Forget about Harold Crenshaw. He doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist. He doesn't. He doesn't exist. I know. I know you have doubts. You're a skeptical man. But you came to me for a reason. You have to make a leap here. Huh? Leap, and a net will appear. Who's a net? No, a net to catch you. You're safe. OK? All your doubts, all your fears are falling away. They're falling away. Can you feel them? Can you feel them falling away? Don't say anything. Just nod your head. I'm nodding my head. No, don't say you're nodding your head. Just nod your head. I'm nodding my head. No, don't, don't say you're nodding your head. Just nod your head. I am nodding my head. OK, forget the nodding. We are going to take a little trip together, you and I. We are going back in time. We're going back before the pain, before the fear. For the fear. Good. You're with Trudy now. No. Judy. 
I'm gonna lose her again. I'm gonna lose her again. Okay, okay, okay. We're moving on. We're 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 moving back a little further. Now you're in high school. Third period gym class. They're gonna make me climb that rope. I can't climb that rope. I can't. Um, please, okay, okay. I don't know. Don't make me climb that rope. Okay, okay. We're no, no, no. We're moving, moving back. Moving back. Further back. Way back. Before the fear. Here we go. We are going. Is that a smile? Are you happy? You like pancakes, huh? I <laughs> love them. <laughs> I bet you always wanted pancakes like this for breakfast. Always wanted them, but my mom never made them. Never. David Palmer, he lived across the street. They had pancakes every day. Huh. We never did. Oh, so this is like a dream come true. Happy like to do. <laughs> look at that, look at that. Uh, Listen, I'm gonna talk to your friends for just a minute. I'll be right back. What do you think? Uh, I think you should have called me. Hypnotism is no substitute for real treatment. I mean, I, I'm aware of this Dr. Kleiman. I've been cleaning up his messes for years. I told him not to call that guy. I made him promise. Can't you just, you know, snap him out of the talk? No, it, it doesn't work like that, Lieutenant. No, even if I could, I wouldn't recommend it. It might trigger off some deeper depressive reaction. He's returned to an earlier ego state. Emotionally, he's about six and a half, seven years old. Mm -hmm. Was he reliving his childhood? Not at all. No, he's living the childhood he always wanted. You might call it a um, wish fulfillment. We had a job. We had a job. And he couldn't live like this forever, right? No, of course not. No, not like that. But the good news is, at some deeper level, Adrian knows that too. Eventually, he'll snap himself out of it. Don't worry, he'll come back to us. Tuesday night, Larkin abducted his wife from that parking lot. He overpowered her. Maybe he drugged her. Then he brought her up here. He kept her prisoner for three days. He taunted her. He humiliated her. Something about some jewelry. He, he even refused to feed her. But last night he went a little too far. In all the excitement, his pants fell down. He killed himself. He didn't have a choice. She had seen his hiney. I think we're done here. Right. Atta boy. Atta boy. Hello. It's Adrian, right? How did you get here? I took the bus. Oh, good for you. All by yourself? Me and the frog. Oh, right. Hoppy, right? Well, are you hungry? I've got some cookies in the house. I know what you did, and I know how you did it. What, do you think I still did something bad? Why? It's because I'm a girl. Because you're a girl who signed a prenup and then regretted it. You wanted it all, didn't you? All his money. You're different. Here's what happened. Your husband never abducted you. No one abducted you. It was a setup from the very beginning. You did spend three days in that cabin, but you weren't a prisoner. You were hiding out. You were waiting. You chained yourself up so the bruises would be real. And you starved yourself. You were an actress, preparing for the biggest performance of your life. Then, last night, you went back to your house. You'd brought a rug from the cabin and you put it down on the floor. Then, you waited in the shadows. Oh. 
You killed him there, then dragged his body back to the cabin. It was showtime. To the world, you were a woman who had escaped from her sadistic husband. You were a hero, a very wealthy hero. Well, that's a very nice little story, Detective Monk. It's more than a story. I can prove that you didn't spend three days in that cabin chained to the floorboards. You made one mistake. While you were missing, we went to your house to question your husband. The captain was chewing some gum. He had some trouble. He ended up spitting it out. Last night, after the murder, you accidentally stepped on the same piece of gum. This piece of gum. The one that was stuck to your shoe. You can't prove that's the same piece of gum. Gum is gum. Not this gum. This is Disher Mint gum. Diet blueberry. It's homemade. It was on your shoe. You've been chewing that piece of gum for five hours? No. I've been chewing this piece of gum for five and a half. Chewing this cup five and a half hours. Give me that gum. Give me that gum. Larkin, drop it. Drop it. Miss Larkin, put it down. Somebody want to tell me what's going on? Just take the gum, just take the gum, just take the gum. It's material evidence. Take the gum, I'll explain everything later. Just take it to gum. It's my gum? Oh, God, oh, my God. You don't have to fight over this. I got a basement full of this stuff. It was in your mouth. It was on her shoe, and I was chewing it. Are you, I was chewing are it. Are you okay? Yeah, I got to go home and gargle for a very long time. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well, I do Hey, who's in charge here? It's